I'm Karen from North Beach Windsurfing, and today we're going to talk about rigging, but not actually how to rig your sail, more how to know what parts you need to rig your sail. So sometimes one of the hard things is you pull your sail out of, out of your van or you get a new sail and you're not sure if the mast or boom you have is going to work with it or if you need a new one or which of one of your masts and booms you should use. The good news is that almost every sail manufacturer gives you lots of good information on the sail itself. So when you look at the bottom of a sail, somewhere on the sail it has all kinds of good information. The number that's followed by the m squared is the area of the sail in square meters. You also have the mast length. This Goya sail even tells you it's the mast length. That's a 430, so a 430 centimeter mast. The luff is the really important part because that's how long the mast needs to be with the extension. And so on this sail, you know if you have a 430 mast and the luff is 437, you only need to set your extension out seven centimeters from the bottom for the sail to rig properly. The next useful number is the boom number. On this sail, it's 177. The plus or minus two just means that sometimes the boom length will change depending on how windy it is. So if it's very windy, you downhaul your sail a little more for more range, you'll also need to add a little boom length. But it'll tell you right on there what size boom you need. On the boom itself, that, that will also tell you where you need to set the boom for it to be 177. And it can be a couple of different ways. So most booms will tell you on the boom body what size range it covers. So this boom goes from 150 centimeters to 190 centimeters. Now when you adjust the back end, sometimes it just has single digit or double digit numbers. So on this one I have to do a little math. I know that if the boom is starting at 150, for this sail that I need a 177 boom length for, I need 27 centimeters of extension, and that's what these numbers here mean. So on this one, all I have to do is pull it out to about 27, and then I'm going to know that the boom is set right for this sail. On other booms, they make it a little easier for you. On this Severn boom, it tells you right on the back end what the boom length is when it's set at a specific extension setting. So it makes it super easy to know that you're at least starting off on the right, in the right setting. So that if you have the right length mast, you set your extension to that number that gives you the correct left length, and then set your boom to the correct boom length number, your chances of getting your sail rigged right are really high. The only other thing that sometimes you can take into consideration is that on sails that are a little bit more recreational, oftentimes they'll have an adjustable head cap up at the top of the mast so that you can use a mast that's longer than what the sail calls for. So on this particular sail, the luff is 328. Right now it's rigged on a mast that's about 310. So the head cap at the top is collapsed all the way in. But you could also rig it on a mast that's longer than the luff length and extend out the, the adjustable head cap at the top and still use a mast that you already have. So some sails will be really clear. This one, it says the mast is 460. This DH18 means that your downhaul setting is 18 or that's where your extension needs to be set. And so you can see that the 460 plus 18 adds up to the luff of 478. Sometimes though on older sails in particular, there will be a mast that says 460 and then there will be a slash and it'll say something like 21 or 28 MCS or IMCS. Don't be fooled into thinking that 21 or 28 is where you need to set your extension. That's actually a mast stiffness number, not your extension setting.